Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterion Racer. We're just going to move that camera just ever so slightly. Coming in with a vintage pickup right off the bat. Vintage baseball, as some of you may know or may not. I'm a big um, Eddie Matthews, borderline super collector um, on that one. And I've been at, wanting to add this bad boy to my collection for some time. I don't know if your team does, but mine... The Milwaukee Braves comes up with a lot of oddballs and oddity cards. So this came from a dry cleaner on the Spick and Span, fairly rare. This is the 1957 Eddie Matthews card. Uh, it, they do grade these bad boys, a little dinged up corner, but these go for good, good money. Um, they do make um, three different versions, I believe starting in 1953 of... Uh, of those cards, you got, you know, early Hank Aaron, stuff like that in there. Lots of Hall of Famers. Nice spick and span cards. So this one comes from my buddy Milo. Oh, Milo, I won one of his competitions. I got to hit him back first. He said to hit the hockey cards first. <clears throat> oh, boy. Let's see if I know. Look at all this, like, shininess here. I need to get myself down to the Avs game one of these days here. The company does have season tickets. Cam, um, Jordan Stull, predominant prospect, some Russian guy. <laughs> I can't come close to naming these bad boys. Oh, this is more like me. Okay, because I... Just like all cards, we collected these pros since back in the day. We got Mario Lemieux. Oh, uh, that's Hall, isn't it? Yep. And Hasek, Dominic for the Chicago Blackhawks. Good old Gwen Grudsky. See, I remember these cards in quite well. Um, I was never a, a Patrick Waugh. Those are some huge Hall of Famers. See, see, I know I had this card back in the day from Bowman, along with that Lemieux card. Um... <clears throat> And that's Dad. We've got Brett Hall. Uh, that was a first, was he a first overall draft pick or second, I want to say? <clears throat> so second? So, lots of huge Hall of Famers from back in the day. Um, Upper Deck came in the league, um, and we were just uh, thrilled with these cards. Um, there's just the quality and the draft picks on there. <clears throat> Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, I would have been going flipping nuts back in the day for Owen Nolan. Oh, boy. That is a big, huge hit from back in the day. <laughs> Even though some of these other ones were a little bit better cards. Uh, <laughs> oh, then, then we got the Lindros. God, I would have gone crazy over that one also. I don't know. I ended up being a swimmer instead of a hockey player. And my, my folks told me they had a pick. You know, I showed decent problems maybe on pond hockey. Forsberg. Oh, man, these are a lot of really nice cards. No stats, lots of rookie cards. We got good old Bush with Lemieux. Wow. I remember having that card, too. Uh, anyways, showing some promise as a... Um, just skating and stuff like that, or my swimming abilities. Got another one of those. And the only difference between ice time and pool time are exactly the same, but the gear and hockey costs a hell of a lot more. And I ended up... <clears throat> God, another prospect card. These are just loaded with big old stars from back in the day. Um, so I ended up being a really good swimmer. <laughs> Needless to say, and I went on to swim in college and stuff like that. Um, instead of playing hockey, who knows how my developmental would have changed? Oh man, we got some tro Topps Chrome Sparkly cards right there. And back when I was young, we had the Wisc Oh, whoa! Look at that! I'm a chance autograph card. That is beyond cool. Thank you very much. <clears throat> to go with that bad boy. That's a huge 1964 autograph card. Oh, man. And I'm 
not familiar with that one, but that's from the 19, uh, shoot, 90. I want to say Upper Deck Cards. Then we got Diamond King of Bob Feller. Light's not the best on here. Rod Carew. He was born in Panama on the, actually in the U.S. in the Panama Canal, I believe, on a train. Harmon Cobru, The Mick, uh, Al Kaline. Uh, we got into pop culture behind the scenes. What, the, what is that? Oh, that's Street Fighter, Jean Claude Van Damme. Should know about that. Heritage Cars of Ernie Banks. That's awesome. Bun B. Not a clue. Was Thomas Ian Nichols. Ah, yeah, I think he was the rookie. I think his mother, mother in that movie, Pebbles, Pet the Dino. Is that Mary Kate or Ashley Olsen? Dasib Degrom. I always liked Holiday. I think he come on more with that. Dom DiMaggio. Larry Doby. That's out of blue foil right there. Ooh, look at that. Access Powers, 1945. I've always wanted to pick out a box of those bad boys. The Hawk, Andrew Dawson. Die Another Day, Miranda Frost. See, this is getting more into the pop culture. Squidly Diddly. Eddie Murray. And Wrestler. Oh, and a nice Addison Smith. It's at 84. But we can't cover up Bobby Shantz. Well, thank you. I am definitely going to hit you back on that. Uh, I think we're going to get into um, from Card Corner. Milo from Card Corner. Go check him out, please. And next up, we got some non-sport cards and packs. <clears throat> Let's take a little gander. So I'm a little bit off. I've had, this is busy time for me. Work is just at, at an all-time insanity level. And I'm, I'm just struggling with, wow, I got knives, I got scissors, I still can't open a darn thing. All right, let's get into some overly packaged stuff, some packs. So I haven't gotten this into my non-sport world at all. <clears throat> it is the big, vast, oof, um... World of wacky packages, okay? So this is in 1980, I want to say, is the first pack, third series. Picked it up at a reasonable price. That's why I'm venturing into it. Nice crisp pack. And we got the four series. Ah, don't hold me to this. I'm not the wacky pack expert here. And this one came from 1985, all new for 1985. But nice little additions. I like how they packed that um, on those. To add to my ever, ever growing non sport car pack population here. Let's get on to something in purple. Next up, this is heavily wrapped. I'm hoping this is cards. I know we started off with a 1957 and now we're on to some randomness. Jeez. Is this something expensive? Because I don't think I remember ordering anything super expensive. Even though that Matthews, <laughs> they go for hundreds of dollars usually. Ooh, we got an Empire Strikes Back card. Yeah, I think this is what? Second series? Third se We got third series. So we're, we're starting to get all the Empire Strike Back cards going right there. That's a sweet little addition. <sighs> Hope Milo's doing well. I need you. And let's look in this little envelope. Usually plain white envelopes usually means it's probably one of the cheaper things I buy. But you never know. Ooh, we got a dirty yellow. Ah. Oh, just a simple Eddie Matthew shiny card. Oh, no, 1957. Probably paid a dollar for that. Yeah, that goes into my super collecting of that man. Uh, I think next week we're getting into some mail from Bu the one, the only Bud Stoney. Um, we picked so lots of non-sport packs. Bobby Shands, nice autograph here, along with hockey. Sorry, I'm not gonna try to pronounce those names. We'll get you guys later. Until the next episode next week. <laughs>